everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and today's video is about what you need to get started in LEGO customization. As some of my subscribers may know, or if you're new you would not know this, I am really into LEGO customization, ranging from my custom painted LEGO products to my custom decal LEGO products that can be found on my BrickLink store, BrickLover18. I like I sell some, I keep some, I have made some actually for other for customers who have commissioned me to make them for them, and I just really like them. So today in this video, I'm basically just going to show you the supplies that I use for minifigure customization, and just show, kind of tell you what they're good for, just so you know if you're really into minifigure customization. One of the first things I recommend you have, depending on what surface that you are going to do some minifigure or Lego customizing anything on is a mat. So here's a mat that I bought at a yard sale. It was 50 cents and it was it's full of cuts and stuff, but it's perfect for painting. Basically what I do is I just set this out over my desks and use for my supplies. So if I'm painting, the paint will get on this and off the desk. The desk I'm using, I'm not so worried about getting paint on, but if you have a nice tabletop or something like that, I definitely recommend using it. The next thing I recommend is paper towel or napkins. You are going to probably make mistakes. You're going to need something to dry your brushes off on. So I recommend that you have paper towel. I recommend using some, well, you'll need most likely paints. I use testers paints. They work out very, very well. I think they make some really nice colors on my paints or on my minifigures. They blend in and they just look cool. And if you're going to use testers paints, you will need some paint thinner because that testers paints does not come away with just water. I used to use acrylic paints that I just bought at my local dollar store and they work good because I could buy a lot more paint at the lot, lot cheaper price because each one of these in Canada is about two, 250 a bottle about and you only get seven milliliters of paint so it's not very much but it does you're not going to use one of them for a while. And of course, if you're using paint, I recommend you have some paint brushes. You, I have a variety of sizes, ranging from really big to really small. The ones you see on here are just probably the small one of some of the smallest that I do have because I use them the most. You will need a handful of Lego pieces that you do not mind getting paint on. For this, I recommend you either use less rare, more common Lego pieces, or Mega Blocks pieces. A lot, most of these pieces are here are Mega Blocks, except with the occasion of a couple of these, a plate, but the rest are all Mega Blocks because you, this is what some of the pieces look like when I'm done with them. So you want to make sure that you don't want to ruin a bunch of really good pieces. I recommend you have some sponges. I have a two. I keep two sponges, and I use them both quite often. This one here, it's got the lighter side on the back with it rougher on the on the front. And then just another one, it is all all smooth. I'm going to try to move this without spilling. I recommend you have a container of water. I just use a margarine container from butter and stuff and fill it with water. I'm going to move that off the thing because if I make a mess on my backdrop, I'm not going to be happy. But a thing of water because you'll need it just in case. I have this little thing of plastic cement. That is actually very helpful for a lot of minifigure customizing. It's easier to use than hot glue, and white glue does not work very well. So that's what that looks like. I recommend that. If you have printing that you want removed from your pieces, I recommend using Brasso. It is expensive, but it works very well, and it I really like it. I just started using this more recently, and it works really good. Another thing I recommend, even if you have Brasso, is some sandpaper. If you don't have Brasso, sandpaper works good, but I just recommend this sandpaper in the event that maybe you get some plastic cement on the wrong spot, or maybe you screw up on some paint, sandpaper works very well. I also use tweezers in my minifigure customizing if I'm going to put a piece of clay or something like that in a specific spot. I can easily pick it up, put it on. I recommend having some ni a knife or two. With so this one is a knife. It's a sculpting knife, and it has a really sharp blade. So you have to be careful with that. But it works very well for cutting minifigure parts, clay, stuff like that. I recommend using clay as well, as I mentioned a couple times now. 
this is what my clay looks like. It's actually potter's clay, but it works really well. It dries out and it's very hard on the minifigure. And once you paint it, you can you can chip it, but it, it won't move. Like it's hard as a rock. So I recommend that. I also recommend Q-tips, or not Q-tips. I do recommend Q-tips, but that next. I recommend toothpicks. Just some, you know, everybody's got toothpicks and these work very well for some very fine detailing that brushes cannot get. And uh, I recommend Q-tips. These Q-tips are good for uh, if you have to remove some paint somewhere, you use some paint thinner, or you know, they just there's a variety of ways to use Q-tips. And finally, one of the last things that I recommend for minifigure customizing is this minifigure customizing cycle, uh, whatever you call it, clear transparent, uh, fine, I don't, I can't remember what this name is and there's no, it basically just puts a nice glossy finish on your custom products and it keeps it well. Put that at the very back here. So in addition to all that you see on screen, I recommend you have clay and water. And of course, if you're doing decals or stuff like that, you'll want some decals. But because a good variety of the minifigure customizing I do involves paint, these are the supplies that I use to do all my customizing. Thank you so much for watching this video by BrickLever18, all about the supplies that you need to get started on minifigure customizing. Of course, if you don't know if you're just getting into this or you're going to actually take it up as a hobby, all you really need is paintbrushes, paint, paper towel, and some water. And eventually, when you get into more high-tech customizing and you know that you're going to want to do this, these are some of the supplies that you may need. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you've learned something from it and I hope this helped you a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, comment on this video, and of course subscribe to see all my other videos and some more videos about Lego customizing. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.